Okay, you know. Hold on. You, you know what? You know. I. Uh, I have something to say. Mario Kart is just not really scratching my itch. Like, like real deep down here. Do you want to see it? Do you want to see my itch? Oh, oh you don't? Oh, okay. Um, well, let's, let's just get on with the discussion today, shall we? You know what I realized the other day? I miss F-Zero so much. <laughs> like, what happened here? There, there's something to this series that's always made me grin wider than this guy. And it just pains me knowing that it's been, what, like 12 or 13 years since its last game? Oh my god, I'm starting to get old. So F-Zero was this awesome futuristic racing franchise that Nintendo was much more adamant about back in the 90s and the early 2000s because there were a decent amount of games in the franchise and if you're unfamiliar with F-Zero, let's actually run through a brief history of it because some of you may not really have much knowledge of it. I mean, you probably do if you're watching this video, but I'd like to think maybe you don't and I'm actually doing some good here. So yeah, back in the days of hand-drawn animation and Vanilla Ice. There was a little console called the Super Nintendo, and it housed the awesome launch lineup of Super Mario World, Pilot Wings, and F Zero. That's actually like nothing. But it was awesome because F Zero brought along something with it called Mode 7, which was this new type of graphical style that made everything look like it was thrown right into the third dimension, and what better way to experience this? than by having some aliens and some humans race each other into the cosmos. f Zero was fun, I, I always got a kick out of it with my friends and my cousins when I was younger and nothing, nothing was cooler than when that sucker was brought to the N64. That's right, when this franchise made its debut on Nintendo's first real polygonal 3D system, it was incredible, it made the races feel even faster and more gritty and more challenging and other adjectives that make it sound cool. It also had rock. So yeah, it's kind of one of those titles I feel is often forgot about when you talk about the N64. Like I hear people talk about Diddy Kong Racing or Mario Kart 64, but F-Zero X kind of, kind of just sits there with its smaller fan base and, and nipples. But then, <laughs> oh then, we got graced with the eternal glory of the Lord our Savior. F-Zero GX, the pinnacle of the series. This game was uplifted and known as the racer that would kick your ass into next week. And I did not possibly think the futuristic racing franchise or series could get any faster, but Sega and Nintendo just slapped me in the face and showed me what they had planned. I just, I could not get over it. All the modes, all the characters just filled with personality, all the speed, and this cheese ball of a storyline that I've never beaten because I am just unworthy. The mighty Falcon can't back down from a challenge now, can he? Let's do it. Don't be like that. The first one to that checkpoint over there is the winner. Cringe. But ever since then, it's been absent from our lives. Like, we've been left with Mario Kart being the only racer from Nintendo. And I mean, I, I like Mario Kart, and it's great and all, but where did F-Zero go? Like, why did it fall into a desolate black hole of loneliness where it's void of emotion? What feels even worse about this whole situation is that Criterion, the developers behind the Burnout franchise, they were actually working on a, creating a new F-Zero for the Wii U, but then they canned it due to development reasons and time constraints. And they were busy working on Need for Speed Most Wanted at the time, and they just couldn't spare any resources. So that kind of sucks. Also something else I want to mention is back when Mario Kart 8 was around its launch window, Shigeru Miyamoto was asked about the future of the s franchise and he, he didn't really seem to know where to take it. It was kind of bizarre, he was basically saying that they had no ideas for it. Here, look, let me just read a quote from the man himself so you can better understand what I'm saying. I certainly understand that people want a new F-Zero game. I think where I struggle is that I don't really have a good idea for what's new that we could bring to F-Zero that would really turn it into a great game again. Certainly I can see how people looking at Mario Kart 8 could see through the anti-gravity, a connection to F-Zero, but I don't know at this point what direction we could go with a new F-Zero. Excuse me? Now I am all for fresh new ideas in a franchise, but I could not possibly but help but feel a little cheated whenever I read that considering Nintendo basically farts out a new Mario and Pokemon and Zelda more than they probably should. Now I am happy that we get new games in those franchises, but you are not going to tell me that some of these needed to exist. Another thing I'd like to mention is not every franchise needs the wheel reinvented every time there's a new release, because that can cause more harm than good sometimes. I'm, I'm pretty sure that most of us would have been fine 
with new courses, maybe a track creator and an online play. Those are just some ideas. Hell, if you really want to do something neat, then let's see an adventure mode of sorts. Like, I'd be down for seeing some open world concepts brought to this franchise. Captain Falcon getting out of his whatever that is and uh, punching people. Yep. I'm, I'm okay with that. Now, I guess one could say that I should just shut up and, uh, and realize that we have things nowadays like Fast Racing Neo and Red Out. I mean, even Wipeout's getting a remake or a remaster or whatever that is. But dang flabbit! I just can't help but think of all the different things that they could do with this franchise, and I really hope that just because Mario 8 had an anti-gravity mechanic, Nintendo doesn't think, oh, well, here's our new futuristic racer. No. F-Zero can offer so much more to the racing genre as a whole, because in my honest opinion, I don't really feel like there's many racers out there nowadays that actually challenge me enough, and that's kind of the primary thing I love about this franchise, because you're constantly blazing down slopes and wishing around turns while bashing into others as you try to squeeze yourself over that finish line, like, man, that gets me into such a rush. I'm a huge fan of speed, okay? Like, sometimes I like going really fast inside video games, and, and sometimes I just want to live on the edge, and I'm too much of a coward to do that in real life, so that sucks. 